What is up everybody? We are at the Grand Ability Gate and I just wanted to showcase how to use a rogue with 1800 attack. So here's the rogue I brought with me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 1800. It went up to 2166. So his strength is 2166. Right? And But he did bring uh, the Beast Hunter arc. Right? So compare that to my rogue with a strength of 878 um this guy's like this guy's got like 1400 strength over my rogue even my zox his strength's like 1200 and that's why i usually run him to limit him right but zox with 1200 strength is going to do less damage than this rogue with 2200 um and here's my shinobi he's also got 1200 strength uh the reason for that is because I don't mind him getting the kills, and I'm, you know, hoping he gets the kills instead of Zox. Um, and he is actually equipped with his gear. I could downscale his attack. Um, I'm going to talk about that later because there's other weapons that Yashimaru can use that add extra damage off of his attack that can proc his steel ability. So the question is, uh, do you want to potentially use two? Weapons like that that have lower attacks and get twice as many hits and twice as many uh, chances to proc an extra form of attack off of your physical attack in order to proc your steel ability. He would be doing it more often and I might be able to have him in a dual wheel configuration with a lower attack as well. So that's what I'm going to be working on in the future, but for now, he's got 1,200. I could have made his strength lower, but I just left what was on him so he could get the kills. And this is the level 100 ability gate, right? This isn't like the level 80 one that we uh, have access to all the time. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's my heroes, and then this is the farming rogue that I brought with me. Now, he's got way more attack. He's going to destroy everything, so I have to control him, and I don't even want to do basic attacks with him, right? My guys are just going to have to kind of auto-farm in the background, which is unfortunate because if I were to just run those three and actually be able to control them, I can minimize the damage that they do a lot, and I can increase the number of hits that they do and backstabs that they do. Um, I've gotten pretty good at kind of switching back between them. And actually, here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to drop this guy's Beast Hunter here. And then I will use my Beast Hunter on the very last level. And look at that extort proct. I'll do some basic attacks on this guy. Right, because we can only run these levels, like, what, three times when they're open. So you really got to try to make the best out of it. So this is just a party I threw together really quick. Um, of course, my Robin is using... He's using that bow arc. So he's got a really nice attack with uh, his basic attack. He's got a nice crit on it, is what I should say. Um, so that's what's you know helping him get extort. Um, and Zox, here I typically control because... I only want to be dumping his S1 over and over again. So by bringing another Robin just for the sake of having Beast Hunter, um, you know, it's hard because they, they usually have such a high attack, so I just have to control them, uh, use their Beast Hunter, and then just kind of let my team auto farm. So my team loses a little bit of efficiency, but I get, you know, the advantage of having a second beast hunter arc to throw and I just try to throw that um, on one of the stages where there are lots of mobs so I have like you know a decent chance to proc some more items Ooh, that was nifty and I guess here's the good thing of bringing a high power character with you that you control to take damage away from if things kind of get a little uh, <laughs> sketchy you can always actually just start dropping bombs with that character. Um, and since this rogue has like 2200 attack, he's going to have no problem clearing this level. Even if the rest of my units all get wiped out because they're running around on auto pretty much. 
So, let's see. That's right, this guy. He can proc steel from his S4, so we might as well drop that. And I'll I'll go back over to the friend unit. Because if this guy starts dropping skills, he's just going to finish this thing instantly. So, I'll give them time to work on it just in case I didn't proc all my extorts off of that guy. And they should finish him up. So that's it. Let's see if we got any chests. Hopefully we did. There was a yellow. And that's all we want here. We want lots of yellows. Because I want those clusters. That's what it's all about. So let's see. Yeah, we, we went for blues this time. Cluster, cluster. Rainbow cluster. Okay. I'm happy with this. Like, this is alright. Um, I think my best run is I had two of these clusters, and they each were a stack of two. And I was so happy about that, and I think I also had a rainbow cluster in that one too. So that one wasn't bad. Um, didn't get the most drops. And honestly, I think if I just run no support at all, also, I should have, uh, I'm trying to teach Zox Stone Slayer. That's another reason why his attack is so high in this. I would typically have a different uh, arc on him. So now that I'm not bringing another character, I don't have an extra beast farm to throw. <laughs> beast farm. Um, but I can control my guys and try to actually run them more efficiently and see if I can just get more... Uh, item steal to proc. I shouldn't even have thrown that S2. Oh no, Shinobi. But that's why he has decoy. There we go. Shinobi lives for another day with 48 hit points. It's okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to revive him. Oh, you know, and he has the Beast Hunter arc, so I'm going to have to revive him. Um, that's right. Typically, on one of these farming characters, I will uh, put in a heal ability. Since you're running, like, an all, you know, farming party, it's nice to have one of them or two of them that can throw some kind of heal. But I didn't set that up this time, uh, partly because I have Magic Castle in here. But one of these guys is going to hold some healing. I'll make sure of that. So, we just want to disrupt these fools all we can. His ox is great for that. Get our backstab in. There's some trick wrist that procced. And we'll see if uh, this guy can finish any of these guys. Because I guess the best I can do now to keep uh, Shinobi alive is try to bank off of some Proud Force, and I'm trying to recall if I even have Proud Force on him. Uh, if I don't see him actually healing, I'm kind of worried about that. Hey, use your S4, you should heal. There we go, yeah, he did some healing off of that, so he does have Proud Force. So that's nice. Um, and against these things... Okay, well, those things that we just fought, which can be a pain in the ass uh, because they cast magic. Uh, we took them out pretty quick, though. Like, actually quicker than I would have liked to because I don't think we procced much extort there. So Shinobi did... Oh, that's right, he came back again because of decoy. He gets a decoy just all the time. Let's see if we can actually get some lifesteal going. Something... Hey, 448 is better than 150. So here is our last boss fight. There's two of them bad mamma jammas. We're going to throw our beast hunter. Socks just get in there. Oh, he died that quick. He died that quick. Man, what, Shinobi, what did you do? I was trying to use one of his abilities where he ports over there. He should have been able to get like a few hits on them before they killed him. Uh, I missed that. I don't know what happened, but 
It's all right, because he's got that decoy working for him. You didn't really kill him. It was one of those Naruto logs. So I've always wondered about that show. Where do they get all the logs? There's so many of them. The true ninja always has a log. <laughs> I, I don't know where they're, they're keeping those things, but they always seem to have one. Everything turns into a log. There we go. I don't know why I just use his S4, just because I like it. It's pretty cool. Zox is a badass. That's what we meant to do, his S1. Did I put Magic Castle up on everybody? Might as well do it again. I think that is it for Shinobi, so... Well, no, it's not, because, ha! Huh, I was going to say, hopefully he, uh... He procced his little extort ability before his life got taken away. And he's back. Go ahead, Shinobi, get the kill. Uh, Shinobi did not get the kill. But hey, what are you going to do? We got our gold chest. Maybe that one is holding like two clusters in it. Oh, it'd be so nice to get three, I wonder. No, I don't think that's possible. I think you can only get like two of those per stack. Has anybody seen three clusters in one stack? You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I will take two blues and a rainbow. Bam. Good to go. Needed some blues for some ability. Uh, I think that's enough. So, why don't we run off? Why don't we run off a green ability gate, right? Because those can be Narnar, and the reason for that, uh, the reason for that, is the stone golems. They typically just have a super high defense, or maybe even like a physical damage reduction. They take a lot. They can do some gnarly damage. They're hard to like stun. Um, yeah, so they can be challenging. Let's see. Sam, ours. Azur. Let's see what you got going on on your Zax. Um, he has over 2,000 strength starting, so... Ah, he's probably going to destroy that level, sorry. Let's see. I mean, we have... We have... No... There it is. So we have this thing that gives you the 1.5 times item drop rate. So let's see what his character actually looks like. Are we going to have to hide this guy in the corner? No! Look at this. Perfect. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, good sir. I give you props. Look at this beautiful farming Zox. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Homeboy does not have a weapon equipped. I applaud you. Look at your armor. It's going to let you come back to life. Blood ring to give him some self-sustain. That is just great. Um, I don't know about the hunting bandana for the farming. Damage dealt to enemies that have fainted or are in break. Um, actually, that might help you with like the boss at the end if you have to break him. Um, just in case, we might have to break this golem at the end. So awesome, dude. I applaud you. Thank you for putting together a good farming character, right? And, yeah, he gave him the UR arc. That's great. Where is this guy? Did I find him from down here? Did I find him from down here? I want to give this guy props. Whatever his name was, whatever his name was, wanted to give him props. Let's see what this guy is doing with uh, with Shinobi. He's got the Beast Hunter arc on him. Strength 1321. That yeah, could be worse, but like, come on, dude. You're going out of your way. You're putting a Zelbus Blade on this guy. So, yeah, you are building him as a farmer, but he's not going to be as effective as he could be. Uh, it's nice that you did bring that arc. Let's see. 
What's this guy doing with Shinobi? Because then I'm going to have to go find homeboy that set up Zox so beautifully because that's who I want to run. Come on, let me look at this guy. Uh, Alright, let's find our buddy. Let us find... Where is he? Wait, he can't be gone. Are you kidding me? Friends list don't work like that. He should still be here somewhere. Where did he go? No! No, that is terrible. Are you joking me? No, there he is. This is the Zox we were running, right? Tree Leaf. Tree Leaf. Is this you? If this is you, Tree Leaf. Tree Leaf, props to you, man. Props to you. Thank you. This is beautiful. Beautiful. This is awesome. Right? Oh, and my Zox is about to learn Stone Slayer. I've been trying to teach this form to him because this is like the perfect level for it. Uh, what about you, Cuckoo Kachu? My little shinobi over here. What's going on with you, man? Because I don't need you being taken out. You got Ramiro's honey. Oh, we have some SC that we can apply. Very interesting. Uh, he could bring Star Heal for himself since he kind of uh, needed that the last fight. Let's see. What can we do? to make you what can we do to make you a little bit a little bit more uh, tough I guess we don't want you to die well you know this is this is a strange one I typically wouldn't do this but I'll just empower his heal boost and give him a heal to throw because obviously I'm still working on this guy um, and that's why his strength is only 908. So that's good. He can run that. Okay, I think we're good to go. And obviously Robin still has his beast hunter. And now we got this awesome Zox that we can run. Now since my Zox has a... Wait, does he have a higher attack? Yeah, I think he does. He's like 12, 1300. I'm still going to control mine to minimize on his damage. So that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to take control of the character that has the highest attack to keep them from attacking. Okay, um, or throwing earth spells. I don't know. I do not bring spells. That's not going to help you at all, buddy. Instead of throwing spells, Zox, why don't you try getting backstabs on people so you can actually proc extort... And this actually isn't a bad level for Zox because these things, like the golems are so tough that uh, even Zox doing so much damage, uh, it still takes a second to kill these guys, right? So that's kind of a good thing for Zox, just with these golems. Uh, for the golem in the end though, I am trying to teach him Stone Slayer and it's just for that. But all in all, these guys, they're not too bad. Um, you just keep your rate of attack up, obviously, enough to recover from the big AoE uh, attack that they do when they slam their fist on the ground. And then as long as you have enough lifesteal, um, you will recover from that. And they can't throw those too quick. So uh, it's really only the boss ones that you have to worry about. Okay, no, dude, you need to stop casting. What is the deal with that? <laughs> uh, your Zox is, uh, like, well, there you got Trick Wrist to proc. Let's say your Zox over here is straight up trying to be a mage. Actually, I need to switch targets with him because he already proc'd extort. So, actually, I don't know. I guess for that reason, I'm going to take control of his Zox because... Uh, Throwing Grand Cross isn't really helping. Not seeing many backstabs from that. But it is nice to be able to throw his skill kit around. Oh, there's Trick Christ again. Uh, since he does have a low attack, uh, I can throw his skill kit around and actually jam enemies up, throw them up in the air, without risking doing way too much damage to them. Alright, so we do have that... And I should still have my Beast Hunter. Um, yeah, we'll just save it for the last wave. Because we know what we're here for. We're here for those 
those golden chests. And here's Shinobi, man, he is just getting. Throw that S4, bro. And on these golems, I'll throw them up in the air real quick. You stop casting. Man, I gotta check that fool all the time. Like, no. Stop trying to cast. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Tree Leaf, if you could let me know why uh, your Zox has Grand... Or... Uh, Grand Cross, um, I'm more than, like, interested. I, I, I would really like to know because he seems to be set up, like, all for farming, right? Uh, I seriously applaud you for that. He's got 700 attack. Um, but, so why the, why bring the Grand, uh, Grand Cross? I keep wanting to say Grand Brave, sorry. Why bring the Grand Cross so that he takes everybody out with magic? He's not scoring any backstabs, and he's not scoring his trick wrist off of that at all. So, kind of weird, but we will take advantage of his arc right off rip. Boom. Because we want those items. In fact, maybe that 1.5 drop rate, maybe I should have used it on one of the maps with, like, all the different mobs on it. Like, a ton of them. I don't know. But, we really want the stuff that these guys got. They're supposed to have the clusters. We want them clusters. See, and this is where Stone Slayer uh, would come in handy. Because these golems at the end, they, they are so tanky. Um, luckily for us, we at least have the ability to break we have a great ability to break, even if our Zoxes aren't doing that much damage here. They're still breaking the shit out of everything. Um, so, obviously, when this guy gets broken, you know what? Our health is low. Let's use our summon now. This is what I enjoy about um, actual farming levels in this game. is It does become a little bit more difficult gameplay because... To get the maximum amount of uh, items, you're trying to balance your power where it's the hardest fight it can be for you. Because that's what's going to yield the most items. You know, doing the least amount of damage and the most amount of hits, it's asking for a long fight. And there's like a bigger chance that, there's that healing, cool. There's just a bigger chance that something could happen and you can lose. And it does happen. So it keeps it interesting. So I actually think Last Cloudia Farming can be great if you're really trying to utilize everything. If you're just going in there on auto, if you're just running it for whatever, you know, that's different. But uh, I'm sure it'd be boring real quick. But the fact that I have to try to balance a party to be as weak as possible and still be able to, you know, take bosses out like this, that's pretty cool to me. And I do uh, enjoy running characters here and just really really using a lot of their skills to get through one of these fights because they're, they're doing such a minuscule amount of damage. It really gives you a good feel for the character, in my opinion. This is how we learn how to play characters. Um, and my best advice to everybody is run characters solo. All right, real talk, you, you will miss some of the things that these characters do when there's all, this, all these other characters running around around them, doing damage, throwing their damage into the mix. Um, Set up a party with just, like, one of your favorite characters and really run them just by themselves because it gives you a better grasp of how their skill kit works, where it's vulnerable, where it's weak, where it can be interrupted, right? With certain skills, uh, after, like, the third or fourth hit, there's just some kind of gap there. The character's doing some kind of animation. You can get interrupted there, right? So you want to know where all these little gaps are for a certain character, if you want to run them to your best ability, and it's easier to do that when you're running a solo character and you're seeing every single thing that he's doing and it's not just like, you know, as much mayhem in the background being caused by other characters. So you'll be surprised at uh, some of the stuff you can pick up when you're running a character solo. So that is my suggestion for everybody. And we did get some greens here, these rainbows. So all in all, 
pretty good. I'm getting at least two of the clusters and some of the rainbow ones too per run. All in all, not too shabby, right? So this has been my morning ability grind. I'm going to go on to do my skill study dungeon because I've, obviously in the limited event, hopefully when they get this fixed, like as far as needing coins and all that stuff, um, like hopefully once they get this fixed, I have a thousand tickets to burn here fighting Blaze Blade Shin. So why wouldn't I just, you know, do that? So I guess really all of my orbs today, I'm going to be I'm going to be spending, spending them over here in the training tab, right? Because it's going to be easy enough to get coins if I can actually get them 70 at a time uh, for burning 10 tickets, which, you know, I have over a thousand of. Um, so I'm not worried about coins at this point. So I might as well just use everything on training. And I do have some, you know, some new units just kind of putting around all these rogues. This is a good opportunity to just get them some some skill study which is awesome uh, and obviously the super training gate is open uh, here's what I'll say about the super training gate if you are thinking about power leveling a character by spending like two three hundred lapis to get them an experience boost do that before you do the super training gate because it will amplify the experience you get right um, I've done it with characters it's pretty easy uh, obviously you pay like 200 lapis and they get like 1.5 experience instead of, you know, whatever. Um, so all that stuff stacks up and then there's experience boost that you can grind out from an arc. I think two arcs, one of them's an SR. I think the Colosseum arc has it on it. So, you know, you can also put that on a character, but I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't even been using experience boost on this account. I don't even have it. And I got to say... Leveling up has been easy peasy, right? All I do is go into this extra training thing for a while. Um, my characters are good levels, like Ray. Ray is a good level, and you know what? I don't. Did I even get the experience boost for him? Yeah, I did. I paid like 200 lapis for the experience boost for him. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this, he's almost level 90, is because guess what? I still have the rainbow potion. I didn't use it on Ray. There it is. And I have uh, a Crimson Potion. So, I'm um, just kind of holding on to him. So, if I do pull anything cool down the, like in the future, I can literally just throw these potions, right? But, really, getting Ray to level 88 and getting his uh, abilities completely unlocked, it wasn't all that bad. So, we're making progress as far as, you know, being able to power characters up faster which is nice uh, i totally dig it uh so last claudia did a little did get a little bit better with that um so now it's all about just crystal clusters to get these abilities unlocked especially when you have like three or four new characters that you can't wait to work on and i got a new rogue uh i'm still not done with uh lucille right i'm still not done with lucille i still have a couple characters to finish up i can I can do a little bit more with Shin, so that's pretty much what I'm trying to do, um, and just kind of enjoy the grind in Last Claudia till I can get enough uh, energy to power up my new UR arc and start working on that. So, alright guys, I will see you out there. Peace everybody.